Dear parishioners of St. Richard's Community, my name is Sue Brown and I am the treasurer here at St. Richard's. And today we're going to talk about the annual report. Topics I'd like to talk to you about are financial health, the 2020 financial results, and the 2021 budget. And then I'd like to discuss with you our financial strengths through the lens of our financial position operating report. And then we're going to look ahead to the coming year, 2021. Our financial results as reflected in our 2020 revenue and expense operating report, and then start off the new year of 2021 with our new budget. I'd like to share a perspective of our financial strengths by looking at the foundation upon which we operate through our statement of financial position report. I'd like also to speak to you about the benefits from our incredible resources of the financial experience and oversight from our finance committee, our endowment committee, our vestry staff and collection volunteers. And lastly, I'm gonna offer a view of our financial management initiatives looking forward. This first slide of our revenue budget versus our actual bar graph for the 20, year 2020 shows you how precipitously we dropped in revenue in May and June of 2020. On the next slide, we'll talk about why that happened. Looking at our financial health through the lens of our 2020 St. Richard's Revenue and Expense Operating Report, St. Richard's Statement of Financial Report, and our budget. Our 2020 budget was established at the beginning of the year and our total revenues budgeted were $409,200. Our total actual revenues were $487,922, a net gain over a budget of $409,200 of 16.1%. Our total plate and pledges were $333,374, a net gain of $78,722 over budget, or 11.6%. Our total special offerings were $138,175, which was a net gain of $69,886, and we were over budget by 50.6%. Our total income of $16,373 was a net loss of $29,776. So we were under budget or 64.5%. The loss in our total other income was largely due to the loss in our line item facilities donations due to the loss of the WISE monthly donation of $3,500. Looking at our expense budget versus actual bar graph for the year 2020, you also are going to notice that our expenses went down in May and June. And we'll talk a little bit about that as to why that happened on our next screen. Our annual expense budget for 2020 our total actual operating expenses for 2020 were $449,837, which was $5,908 more than our budget of $443,929, or 1.3%. We were extremely fortunate to have applied for and received a PPP loan for $30,750, which paid for eight and a half weeks of payroll. Due to our sp suspending in-person worship for a period of time and providing additional live stream services, we incurred significant expenses for live stream equipment, personnel to operate the live stream equipment, continued sanitization of our facilities and supplies related to the COVID-19 pandemic. Our end of the year operating cash flow was $38,085. Our budget highlights for 2021 our total revenues are $469,356, and we're projecting our total expenses to be $474,108. Our 
which you'll notice we will be running a deficit budget. And the details of that budget, all, all the line items, are going to be at the end of this presentation. Our financial strength. Our intangible assets, including operating, restricted, and endowment funds, ended 2020 at $324,665, which is an increase of $48,154, or 14.8%. Another measure of our financial strength is the talent and the time that our Finance Committee, Endowment Committee, Collections Volunteers, and the other committee staff and vestry. Most of all, we want to thank our parishioners for their generosity, without whom none of this would be possible. I have to give a special shout out to the Finance co uh, Committee. We met this fall and had three lengthy meetings where we planned for, discussed, and created our 2021 budget. So I want to give them a special shout out because it took a considerable amount of time, of their time. Our financial management is indeed a team effort. Each of the individuals who participate in the process oversee portions of our financial operations in addition to the other duties of their respective committee. So it is with sincere and grateful thanks that we commend their services and their support. Looking ahead now to 2021, we'll look at our budget, which we will be proactively managing to be certain to stay within our expenses, if not below. And in addition, trying to create additional revenues as well. Our total revenues that we have budgeted for the year are $469,358. And you'll notice our expenses are listed right below our total revenues. Our personnel expenses are um, really the biggest portion, the biggest slice of the pie of our expense budget. Our total personnel expenses are going to be $281,035. So that is our largest slice of the pie. On this next slide, you'll notice we have our Christian education, our administration, and our administrative uh, line items. One of the line items I would like to point out to you is our insurance, our property and liability insurance. We had to switch property and liability insurance companies this year. And so we now have a budgeted item of $47,615, which includes a $10,000 contingency fund. So our total administration uh, costs, expenses, are gonna be $77,586. On this slide, you will notice we have our buildings and grounds. You will notice that's a very sizable portion of our budget as well. Our total building and grounds, we have budgeted $66,656. We are now following on this slide, we are following down the column and we noticed we have our diocesan support our parish life, music, general ministries, and total parish life. Our total parish life expenses were budgeting this year to be $10,426. Uh, you may notice that on our line item under social ministries, we have not budgeted anything at this point for our fellowship for the year, as we really cannot project when we will be able to uh, have fellowship again within our parish hall facilities. Hopefully by the third quarter for sure, we are hoping, but we really haven't budgeted anything for it at this point. Our total expenses are going to be $474,108. So you will notice that we are running a deficit of $4,751. In conclusion, 
just want to thank you all for a wonderful 2020 and for your great generosity. If you have any questions, please contact me at treasurer at strichards.org or if you would like a copy of any of the reports in this annual report, we'd be glad to give them to you. Just contact the office. Thank you very much.